Hello everyone, this is Fi. I'm checking out Parapatea. This is going to be uh, the second time I've tried out this game, but it's been, I don't know, two months? A month and a half, something like that, since uh, the first go, so hopefully we'll see some new things. <clears throat> but um, it's pretty interesting the last time, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get up to with this. I'm going to try to jump right into the game here. So this is the first thing I see after I've ran the executable. Um, so it looks like we've got the controls. <clears throat> um, I guess we have augmentations at this point. Quite deus ex-like. Uh, select item from hot slot, assign hot slot in inventory. Learns uh, lean slash rotate item. Inventory is on tab. <clears throat> Movement, interact is F, or flip item, jump, crouch, fluid lean, uh, augmentation wheel, and then shift is kind of blank. Oh, what the flip? Okay, so I hit the space bar. That's really weird. Um, clicking also. Oh, okay. I guess I had to like click and hold for a min minute and then it... And I got out, so I guess that's a, this is the sound of rain. <clears throat> it's pretty loud. I'm hoping I might actually have to try to turn OBS the uh, the volume down a little bit if I can get back into OBS. That's kind of stealing my mouse there. Um, hopefully that's reasonable. <clears throat> So a little bit of input lag, there's no V... I mean, there there is V-Sync currently. Um, escape key doesn't do anything. I'd like to have some kind of a pause menu, but of course it's unfinished. I get some music playing. Alright, let's turn that off for now. Um, I think... what is it? F? Hold F and I can... Apparently not pick up this cactus, but I see my little hand pop out, so that was interesting. It doesn't work if I'm not pointing at cactus, <clears throat> so I don't know if that's intended, but... Oh! If I press F once, I'm talking to it apparently, and I can I can click, is that what... Um, oh, so I have to select a reply. It wasn't really clear to me, uh, I'm not sure if there's a a simple way you could make that more obvious, like I was kind of thinking... <clears throat> I either had to hit a key or click leave. Um, I'll press F to talk to Cactus. Alright, camera's doing some weird things. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I would like to have the ability to turn off VSync and go into exclusive full screen mode so I can get less input lag. Oh gosh, that's very loud. Alright, so we're accessing the computer system here. Um, current available work, a big shot politician working for the Polish government opposes Red Cross and US intervention known for excessive tastes. Does it say Ar Ar Arbiters? But spelled funny? Uh, database version, whatever. Assassination. Jacob. Fran Franciszek. Reward 12k. <clears throat> Alright, accept mission, yes or no. This UI is. I don't know, it doesn't really look like a UI in the sense that it doesn't feel like. Uh, there's anything obviously interactable on the screen like if I this sort of looks like a button I guess this kind of looks like a button this too, but it's it's almost like fading into the background <coughs> So I think you can kind of make it more obvious what is interactable and and Usually with UIs the idea is that the interactable things kind of express um, the means by which you should interact with them, kind of with the way they look or whatever. I guess I just click on this. 
but it did ask for a yes or no and i just clicked on it it wasn't really a yes or no question in the end it was just kind of click this button to begin uh so that's interesting so it feels like the camera kind of pivots um Yeah, you can kind of see the model like when I look at the the shadow here, how it kind of the uh, pivot point is kind of in front of my face a bit. It's interesting. I don't know, it feels a little weird, but um, I do remember seeing something like a video about <clears throat> for first person games putting the camera like directly in the center of the character was actually not like correct as far as how it works in real life okay this is a drunk local the man ignores you eyes glazed looking in different directions bulge in crotch <laughs> what? okay whatever he's on it's good <clears throat> Interesting. Wow, that looks uh, a lot more detailed from a distance than I expected uh, with kind of how low res the rest of the game is. I mean, I'm sure once I take it over there to look lower res when I've got my face up to it, but um, with this uh, the detail and the reflections and everything, it suddenly looks like a a much higher res game, <clears throat> looking at things from a distance. Actually interesting, I mean generally you kind of want to, okay, for some reason I thought that was going to step down gradually. Generally you want to, uh, you know, put more of the detail closer to the character and, you know, LOD it out as, as you go out further, but sort of a... I know, kind of unusual that it, like the game almost looks better the further away you're looking. Uh, I'm noticing a little, some frame drops here and there. Very dark here, I think. Used to be night vision. We got that on F1. Oh, okay, so... Uh, F2 does something. Okay, looks like bullet time, I'm guessing from the icon. That's a pretty good icon. I do remember actually seeing bullet time... Uh, that the developer was working on before though. This is maybe some kind of a shield or cloaking? I don't know, it looks like the energy actually recharges itself, which is of course very different from Deus Ex. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, so, all right, shift is run. It makes the noise when you turn it off. It's not very obvious, this this speed augment. I can tell it's working, but it's not super obvious, so I kind of feel like you should make that more obvious, you know, if you're going to give somebody a, a special power to, to move fast, then you might as well make it move really fast, you know? <laughs> um, and I'm noticing the jumping feels weird. So if I... Seems to make my jump higher, I guess, with this augment. Yeah, it's it's higher, but it, I feel like it should go further more than it, than it goes up. Like when I'm running, it doesn't quite feel right. <clears throat> Just based on the feel of it, I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, we don't have any weapons or anything. Uh, we don't want to get caught. I'm just gonna assume anyone walking around could maybe kill me. I don't know. I mean, oh, okay. That's cool. I was hoping for crouch. Looks like I have to use C. So I'm hi hiding in this this weird shadow that's for some reason here. Um, that guy definitely has a gun, so I'm gonna stay away from him. But yeah, I, I would like to uh, use control for crouch, but it's cool that you have this. I don't know what you call this—a quick menu type thing. Um, it's really sluggish. And I don't see like a, an icon, like I, I can, I can tell how it works. 
Right. So, um, wait, let's turn this off. <clears throat> a couple of things. One thing is how fast, or I should say how slow it is to actually pop up. When you hold the button down, it, it definitely takes a moment for it to even start popping up, and then it, uh, and then it has this animation in addition to that. So I would try to make this a lot faster. And then this animation where it kind of selects the thing is pretty slow. Uh, UI stuff, it's really easy to make it, when you're trying to make it look good, to make it like way slower than it actually should be because it's a lot more important for it to be very responsive to the player input. Uh, and like I kind of almost half mentioned before, I'd like to see like my cursor or something in some fashion because um, when you're doing mouse input, I don't know if it's reading like a, a cursor position or if it's like taking a raw input or something, but um, it just it just doesn't really feel right when you can't see where your cursor is because you don't really get the information at like what what direction to move the mouse exactly. It just feels a little weird, but um, I definitely like the concept very much. <clears throat> um, I might actually personally prefer it if. Uh, well, so th there's this element where if you just tap it, it just it just activates the last thing that you uh, equipped or whatever, or the the last one that you used. You can just activate it and deactivate it really quickly like that, which I like. But I don't like the delay that it takes to decide to open this. Um, so to cut that back, I think you could cut that back a bit more. Um, maybe even, so I think what you could do is have this pop up kind of instantly. Rather than check if the thing was, if the button was held for whatever, however many milliseconds, 300 milliseconds or whatever it is, rather than check if it's been held for that long and then pop this open, uh, I think you could just pop this open instantly when the button is held. But if it's released quickly enough, then it'll just, uh, Hmm. I was going to say, if it's released quickly enough, then it can just activate the last thing. Um, but there's... That would probably create a conflict if you tried to tried to do like a really fast input, if you tried to change it really fast. <laughs> so I, I think for myself personally, what I would rather do is I would rather just like hit the button and just flick the direction really fast, which I can't do. Oh, the bullet time is still going. I wasn't thinking about activating more than one thing. But especially where there's like only four of these. Um, I just want to like press the button and flick the mouse. It's going to be just as fast and then that way I can select whatever I want without having to deal with this really laggy input menu. So um, for myself personally I'd prefer that. <clears throat> I know I'm going on and on about the little details without actually playing, but these are things that I personally care about, so <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to listen to me ramble about them. So I wonder about like the amount of noise I'm making. I don't know if that's, you can kind of assume that in a, a stealth game like this that they might care about the noise. But there's no uh, like UI element to suggest like, how much noise I'm making. I don't see anything down here. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of a long, a long pathway with nothing going on this whole time while I'm walking down here. So it's kind of weird. I don't have much of a sense of direction. I mean, this. I, I think this is a big, a building that had like a, a pretty obvious entrance back there, but, um, the heck, that looks weird, all of a sudden, and now it's gone, so that's a little strange. What's going on here? Not sure what that is, some kind of light 
hitting the fog, but okay, so there's there's got to be something up there that's causing this light. It's just not really, it doesn't quite uh, read as as a beam of light, like it, it kind of does, but it's not super clear what you're seeing, you know, that it's actually like originating from something up there. <clears throat> Alright, so I found a random computer. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of wandering aimlessly. I didn't really care for this really long walk all the way over here. Um, you know, just kind of boring. There wasn't really anything going on. There's a door here. I don't really know what I'm... I remember there are people I'm supposed to assassinate, but like... I don't know why I should, for example, go in here, except for the fact that it's here. Um, versus, I don't know, going in this building back there. Okay, so... From here, oops. I'm trying to use control to crouch, because that's my that's my normal key bound. Key, key bind. Um, from here it's more, it's a lot more obvious that there's like a, a beam of light. It's not just like a blob of white that just kind of appeared in the air. <clears throat> you can kind of see it on the, as it goes across the wall and everything. So there's some dudes, they're not looking around, I don't know what their field, their cone, vision cones are like or anything. Um, well that was weird, it just like... I think I just clipped through the camera or something here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a bit weird. I don't understand. Why is he doing that? Like, is he seeing me? I don't know why he... <laughs> what the heck? What is he doing? What? I'm so confused. Oh, I do have a gun. I didn't even know what- I thought I didn't have anything. I could just like, start popping dudes in the head. Theory? Um, I just- I, I'm trying to make sense of this guy's behavior. It's uh... Wait, can I just talk to you? Oh, I can just talk to you. Heck? <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot at me if he saw me. And I'm like... Watching him apparently look at me here. Alt girl will need to see government ID if you want to go any further. Okay. Is he going to like... Shoot at me or something? I keep going. So these guys don't even want to kill me. Can't talk to him, I guess. Um, it's kind of silly. How are you supposed to know which guys are, are out to kill you, though? We aren't hiring any more performers. Who is this guy? Hoodlum Guard? He looks cool. Alright, so the press F to talk to thing is kind of... It's in screen space here, not just in the world space. Whereas the the name at the bottom of the little tardy reticle is kind of still in world space, so it's hard to see that even if you're trying to. Polish guard. Uh, I don't think I'm going to accomplish anything by going over here. Maybe I should uh, try this thing. <laughs> I'm guessing you take fall damage. I don't know. I th maybe I should just try it. Okay, maybe not. Guess you don't. Well, that makes things easier. Um, so maybe I just go back this way. I guess. There might just be nothing back here for all I know. I don't know. Looks like I can see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Some weird light reflecting off the bottom of whatever that was. 
that guy's totally pointing that gun directly at me. What does this say? Buka? <laughs> Bar... I don't know. Hello? Careful around here, girl. This is a dangerous place. Why do you say that? What is this place? Uh, are you new to these parts? It's just stupid. This is a slum. Nothing but trash around here. A thing like you would be more at home at the government tower. Around the back of this ghetto, you have no business in a shithole like this. Um, if it's a slum, do you know of anywhere I can get some less than kosher items? You can check out the club to the right side of here. It's up some stairs and near a statue. Don't bet on them, le them letting you in, though, and don't tell them I told you. Um, okay, so for some reason it's giving me the same question again for reply. That's a little strange, but... Uh, I'm assuming that's kind of where I was going before. I have extra protection around. Ghetto still has the occasional bandit, but when you try to leave... Armed suits with their stupid mind augs! I hope those bastards get CPU reset with a boot to the face. Jacob or something. I believe that's one of the dudes I'm supposed to kill. Alright. Oh, it's got a... <laughs> it kind of looks like a beam of light. Um... Empty bottle. I think... Oh. I thought... I thought you could use these keys to, like, rotate items or something. Um... Not alt. There's something... I was supposed to rotate items. I suppose Lee. Alright, very strange looking shadows, I guess. Shadows shining through a, what is meant to be a grate? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well that's weird. I didn't even know there was an opening over here. So this is pretty hidden. Like, there's no... Maybe if there's just some light, like this, uh, whatever you want to call it, the way that the light is shining in here, maybe if it was coming in the room slightly more or something, it was more obvious that this isn't just like a weird, strange looking room. <clears throat> and yeah, these uh, super dark shadows make it a little hard to navigate. I don't know where I'm going, <laughs> but here's a guy who hopefully won't shoot at me. I'm trying to talk to him. Leave me alone. Okay. You have to kind of... First you have to be pretty close, and then you have to get the mouse pretty specifically on him. I think it's a him. A little bit touchy there. This is pretty weird. Okay, weird stairs. They just kind of go into nothing. <laughs> um, definitely has a cool feel to the environment. Like you can imagine people living in these like tiny things all crammed together in this crappy place, but, uh, did I run out of- oh, I just run kind of slow. So even my, like, my run speed compared to my not running speed is, it's not very obvious that I'm even running. Seems like you could kind of differentiate that a little bit more. looks cool though. Yeah, so it seems like there's a lot of places you can kind of wander, but the, the level doesn't give me much idea of, like, a sense of progression as far as, like, you can kind of go this way and that'll be, you know, moving forward in the game. Looks like I can 
Oh. Oh, it's this uh, flag thing. <laughs> it's like, what is that weird shimmering thing? It's this flag kind of clipping through stuff. Uh, so it feels like I could get up on this roof, maybe. All right, that's cool. For what purpose, I don't know, but I'm up here, so that's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, gosh. If you're not good with heights, don't do this. <laughs> Especially with this, uh... I think the night vision kind of has, like, a fisheye effect or something. Oh my gosh, I actually, like... It's a little bit annoying when you actually need... The night vision just to navigate the environment um, because it does take energy it's obviously you can get the energy back pretty easily but all right nice little dead end I think it wants me to go here um, but yeah I mean I can understand that there's like certain certain sections here and there where it's just super dark and you want the player to to make use of their abilities but um it seems like quite a bit quite a lot of this level has these like super dark areas that you just can't see anything unless you activate that and it seems like a little much to me uh, hello he wants government id all right kind of weird how the camera zooms Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of expected with the, with the first guy that said that, that he was probably going to try and shoot at me if I walked past him. Uh, those guys, I was not expecting that because, as you can see, I kind of barely walked past them. I was just kind of trying to look at the environment or whatever. Uh, <laughs> so it was pretty unexpected. Um, but yeah, the good thing is, like, I didn't really lose any progress or anything because I just spent this whole time just wandering around and babbling. Uh, but this looks like another really long pathway full of nothing. Yeah, it just doesn't give you that much for speed. Alright, so the top left of the screen is, is all weird, which I believe is this, this uh, effect from the uh, night vision. It's sort of a... I don't remember what they call that. It's the CRT-like effect where it kind of pinches the corners of the screen. <laughs> I like how it plays backwards. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I think... This is past the area I was at before where the guy said, like, halt, you're not supposed to be here, that kind of thing. Or you're not supposed to go past this point, which suggests that I, I might have gone past it at this point. Um, <laughs> which is not obvious at all. I don't know if that means I need to avoid these guys from now on, which would make sense, but, uh, like, it's not that obvious where I am. And, like, especially if this was the first way I went and I had, hadn't had uh, talked to any of those guys yet or anything, it'd be pretty confusing, especially if one of these guys actually tries to kill me, because it would be like, are they killing me now? I don't really have any information to work with here. I don't see, again, there's a lot of really dark areas. Uh, it looks like I can go over here. Okay, there's like lights here. I'm right under the lights. Um, so one thing I would suggest to consider also with, with regards to the the sprinting augmentation, <clears throat> I kind of talked about how I, I I would like it to be kind of faster, just so it actually has a you know an element of being differentiated from the normal walking speed or running speed. Um, but also I would worry about okay 
So yeah, these guys are definitely trying to kill me. And that guy, I think he, st he started shooting at me like before he was even on my screen. So they seem to have... I think I kind of noticed last time they have like really far vision range and he didn't seem to hesitate. I, I think it's like just like right as soon as his head kind of started peeking over the the edge of where he was walking or something, he just instantly started shooting. So I would kind of, you know, try to put some more limitations on these guys so they don't just, you know, for AI, you usually don't want them to be have like superhuman power so you have to kind of do a lot of work to make them more limited <laughs> so i guess i guess they they're all kind of gathering now because they saw me um but i'm gonna finish what i was talking about before so i would be concerned about the player feeling like they need to keep turning this on all the time because they just want to move faster and one way that you could potentially deter that would be to make the cost of it higher the energy cost of it higher, as well as making it, you know, the the movement bonus you get from it higher. Um, that way, the player would prob probably be more inclined to be conservative with using it, like only in in sort of like emergency situations or something to that effect, or just some some situation where where it seems like you actually need some kind of extra speed rather than just always always slapping it on just because they're not happy with the the base move speed, you know. <laughs> Um, so I think that would be something worth considering. I guess they're wandering off now, um, but oops. I can't really walk up this without being, of course, in the broad, not broad daylight, but the, <laughs> the, the street lamps here. Now I did remember just now what I read on the game page, as it did mention, I have to... Wait a minute. I don't have that gun. Where'd that gun come from? Oh, great. Okay, I don't remember ever picking up a gun the last go around either so I don't know if I just randomly walked over something didn't realize it uh, <laughs> it definitely wasn't anywhere around here but I do remember seeing on the game page that you can shoot out lights I think which would make sense to do here uh, because I can't I don't know if I should just okay oh my gosh how can they can see from that far Holy crap! All right, so yeah, I, I was I was pretty okay with dying because I kind of thought that the, this gun was probably at the beginning, anyways, <laughs> wherever that came from. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, their vision range is so far. So usually in stealth games, the, the enemies vision is not very good because developers are quite careful to make it not um, you know feel frustrating and unfair to the player what is that okay but yeah they can see super far so the problem with that of course is that it's just really hard to have such good um, awareness of of everyone around you in the 3D world to uh, be able to avoid somebody who's who's going to see you from that far away. You know, when they just suddenly walk or walk around a corner, like way off in the distance, and they're uh, already seeing you. Okay, club patrons. I didn't come in here before. This beautiful woman. That's cool. Where the heck did I get that gun before? Hello? Oh, that's the bottle. Can I talk to you, please? Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> she's, got the, she's got the hand out randomly. I don't know what, what the deal is with that. Um, wait. Crouch. Alright. Okay, that almost, almost hit him, but it hit the other bottle. Ah, nothing. 
I do like that you can throw things, but... Oh, wait. Wait. Bar owner. I can't talk to him. Okay. So it would be nice if I could get this little highlight thing from a little further distance. That is not a doorway. Um, we could go up there again, I guess. I have to find where this gun was. I guess I get stuck on one of these steps here. A little weird. So I remember talking to this guy. I can walk on this incline, that's interesting. Can't walk up it, but I can walk across it. Where did this gun come from? Dropping some frames, which I don't know if it shows up in the capture. It's one of these things where when you're using the borderless windowed mode, sometimes you can get some instable frames that you wouldn't get if you were in exclusive full screen. I'm confused about... Maybe I found it up here somewhere. So one thing that's interesting is... The rate at which your footstep sounds happen don't does not seem to change even if you're moving faster. This does not look correct. Is this some kind of a holographic uh, graffiti? Maybe? Whoa, what is... Something popping in and out here. Something to do with this wall, I guess. I don't know if there's holographic graffiti in this world or what, but that was not what I expected. Uh, so I did go over here. This is randomly open now. So that's weird. I think you just hit random keys, right? You have to find... Hotted? What does hotted mean? It's a booby. <laughs> Boobs. What the heck? What are you up? So the thing I still don't ahead. Hotted boobs up ahead. So I really like this idea, but I don't like that you have to press like literally every key on the keyboard so much. Tits. Um, because it just takes so long to get to every single one, you know? Big. Tits big. <laughs> Ones. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's very interesting. I assume I have to crouch. I can't even get in here. Oh, okay. So I have to jump and then crouch. I'm assuming that guy's gonna shoot at me. Um, nice dark little corner here. He's gonna shoot me. Is he gonna shoot me? Or is he just gonna let me talk to him? I'm standing. Well, I feel like I'm right out in the. in a heavily lit area, but. Looks like there's some darker parts. I have no idea if that guy's gonna shoot me. He walks up. <laughs> he walks up on that. Alright, we got some music playing. 
Uh, go down here, I guess. Oh my gosh, hello. Are you gonna shoot at me? Wait, it's darker over here. is not interested in shooting me, I assume. There's an elevator. Interesting. I heard the sound, but I didn't see... I don't see anywhere where it... Oh. What the heck? Why is it going through the wall? <laughs> What's going on? Why is it going through the wall? Oh, that's definitely not right. It's supposed to go up there, isn't it? And I come through the wall. Please don't bring me through the wall. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh! Okay, I hit the button a bunch of times, but... It's only working now. It's not... Oh, the collision interaction is a bit sketchy. <laughs> But, uh, that was very silly. Looks like I can go up again, I think. Second floor? No. Uh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh... What is this music? Why is it only on that little, very small area? I think that's what, uh... Was intended here. So yeah, I'm not sure what happened with the gun. Still don't have a gun. Another dumpster. Everything is super dark. Is there nothing? Nothing here except for dumpsters, okay. I guess we have to go up to the next floor. Uh, so yeah, you don't really get a very good sense of direction down here. There's not... Um, this thing is really finicky, I don't know why. I'm definitely pressing F. Oh boy. Please. I have to go up there. I'm trying. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but... Oh my gosh. So yeah, that little locally contained music playing is pretty strange. I think this is like where I came from. Is this where I came from? Yeah, so it's really easy to get a bit mixed up here. There's not, um, you know, everything kind of looks the same in every direction. It's also quite symmetrical and everything. Um, if you break this up more and, and add some more um, landmark elements that make it more obvious that like you're going in a new direction sort of thing, uh, that can help a lot rather than everything kind of always looking the same no matter which way you get turned around. I also I don't... oh maybe this one goes up. I feel like I have to go up there, but this doesn't go up any higher. Maybe I just jump on top of it. Oh gosh. Alright, this is super glitchy. I can't really stand on this properly. Alright. Um, I think. Alright, so I don't know if this is what was intended. Not very obvious in my opinion. 
Uh, but we did it. Oh, that wall just disappeared for a moment. All right, so if I turn, <laughs> apparently if I turn. Let's see through this wall. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Attempt to, wow, okay. It's like a dance floor of sorts. So we got the muse again. This looks like a weapon, so that's nice. Um, ammo count 20 out of 20. So it's a little annoying. The uh, all right, the music's annoying. Um, when I hover over this, it gives me some information, but the the text is hard to read. Um, if you put a little background behind behind the the text, it would make it a lot easier. It looks super busy, like on top of all this inventory stuff. Semi-auto. 9 by 39 millimeter. That's 12 gauge. So is that the whole point of this place? Wait, can I go through here? I just made it all the way up to this place just to get this one weapon. Oh, maybe I go this way. Nothing over here. Alright, so I don't know. I mean, this could be incomplete. Um... Definitely feels strange. Uh, this doesn't want to work again. I don't know if I can... I think this is going to completely block me. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I did get a weapon. That seems pretty important, but I also... I guess I have to go back to where I was before. I've got 20 bullets I can try to work with. The crouch button. Okay, there's these people up here. It won't shoot me as long as I don't walk past them. But this guy. Okay, well, that was unexpected. What, did he just give up because I, I came back? Alright, that, that was very unexpected. <laughs> so it seems like there's still not any feedback for when you take damage. There's no sound or anything. Uh, this guy doesn't want to talk. Yeah, that was really unexpected. But apparently I, I could theoretically go in there. Uh, I could theoretically just do this, I think. <laughs> uh, what does this accomplish? Oh no. There's nothing in here, dude. So these guys seem a little more excited. I think they can't see me because I'm in the dark. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think me shooting definitely made them interested in coming after me. I don't, they don't act like they can hear me to walk towards me. Hello? I just start shooting them, what will happen? I mean, they're gonna continue being excited, but... I like the idea of just taking their guns. Oh, how did that miss? Alright, that was... I think I was too late, but... Oh gosh, this feels really weird. It seems to move really fast. Just gonna take your guns. Um... I should be able to drag the bodies around. Long rifle. This has like a huge rate of fire, I guess. Uh, looks like I could get a lot of these just by killing people. Wow. Oh, he's shooting back at me. This is clipping through the camera. Wow, something that... I see blood splatter. Maybe he just killed another guy. He's just walking past. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just spraying. Insane. Alright, I'm using up all that energy. Didn't work very well. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so so you're, you're not invincible being in the dark. 
I don't know what that sound was. It's like a bottle or something. Phew, okay, so we're spending a lot of time and not accomplishing much of anything. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How long have I been recording? My gosh. Too long. Yeah, pretty long. So, what I know is that I can go through... Where was it? Oh, that was just... Alright, so if I go that way, then I can go in there and then I can find a gun up there, which is kind of important. Because... Am I supposed to start with a gun? I'm really confused about that silence pistol that I had before. Actually considering just uh, escape doesn't do anything, but I might just uh, alt F4 here and just try running the game again and see if uh, we get a gun given to us. All right, stole my mouse, but that's okay. We'll just smash the alt tab. There we go. Okay, ignoring, um, no weapon yet. Get this, please show discretion at work. Click the button. Aha! We have the gun! Alright, so I guess this was ultimately just a bug. They didn't give you the weapon back after you restart the level for some reason. Uh, I got the gun out. Is he gonna get mad if I talk to him with a gun in my hand? Can I just not talk to him? I forgot you can use third person here. Um, I also forgot you can lean. I don't know if I have much use of that. It also doesn't lean very far. Doesn't seem to care too much. About you. What do you think of this? His face looks really weird. Really weird. So they don't seem to care if I have the gun out. Uh, I guess I just go this way. Actually, well. Alright, so I know I can get. Can get that that scope weapon if I go this way. But then I feel like I want to go like back and then like all the way back around or something. <laughs> Let's go to where I was before because that was already past a lot of these guards. Um, there's just a lot of walking, so that's kind of annoying. But the other option, I guess, would just be to start killing dudes. <laughs> Try to get through. Uh, all right, what was this again? Something hot, hotted. I don't know what hotted means, but hotted boobs. In is it in on something with two letters? What the heck? I don't know what. What was the up ahead? Uh, tits. Big? I don't remember. <laughs> it's big. What was the. Over. Oh. What the heck? Alright, what is it? Oh, it's big ones. Okay. It's big ones. Alright, I don't know if that actually let me get in here <laughs> or if it was just always open or something. Alright, I don't think this guy cares, even though he's kind of trolling around for some reason with a gun out. One thing that might help is if you were to, uh. Maybe some visual language would be 
Oh, his arm looks really weird, actually. But <laughs> something that would be worthwhile would be to make them not carry the guns out like that if they're not hostile. Something like that. Yeah, that does not look right. <laughs> uh, maybe that would make it more obvious that, that that's a person that could kill you. Because you can't really tell as far as I know right now. I've got this here. I want to go up. Oh, now it lets me go to the third floor. Wait. First, third? Okay, so over here is third, apparently. Second. Wait, what the heck? Second, third. First. Alright, that's weird. <laughs> it's just kind of as supposedly different different zones you can aim at or something. I don't remember this door being here. Alright, we just have the... It's not the E key, it's the F key. So we get the gun, we want to go back down if possible. It's working now, that's good. I guess I could just kill some of these dudes and take the guns. Nothing stopping me, except for the inherent danger. Quite a reach. I forgot about this, this little menu here, actually. Forgot about bullet time, too. <laughs> I don't think I want to go this way, but I could, I guess. Yeah, I'm a little confused the the, the level layout with these like really long, like hallways of sorts. I don't want to walk behind these guys because they'll shoot me. What is back there? Anything of interest? Last time I killed dudes to get in into whatever was behind them. It's just an empty little room. So yeah, this is kind of lame, like, just how far I have to walk and then, like, I'm just gonna make, like, a U-turn and, and then do, like, another really long walk to go back to where I was. It's, uh, it's a very bizarre level layout. It seems like it would make a lot more sense if there's some way to just kind of go over this or something. Which I don't know if I'm missing something in that regard. Um, I don't think I can jump up even on that. So that's kind of down the middle, I guess. I actually don't know where this leads. But I know where this leads. Now I'm curious where, where this ends up if I keep going here. Ah, shoot. One thing that might be nice is if you're moving without- if, if all your augs are off and you're moving, it might, if it uh, recharged your energy a little faster. Actually not sure if that's- <laughs> that would be better or not. It seemed to make sense in my head when I thought of it. Um, just the idea that you wouldn't be spending much time just kind of idly like standing somewhere waiting for it to fill up. Like if you're better off just moving or something. Okay, so this is crap, but theoretically if I was up there, it looks like it might lead somewhere. Or that might just be a well-lit dead end. Um, my gosh, there's a lot of floors though. It goes up pretty high. So this is kind of fascinating, just having a really long hallway that leads to a dead end. <laughs> and it's like right in the center of the level, so it's kind of like if any, if any direction was presented as sort of an intended most straightforward way to go, uh, maybe it would be the one right in the center, I don't know. I don't really know what the idea is here. But I don't care for all of this walking that isn't accomplishing anything except getting me to where I need to go, but it takes a really long time.
All right, that took forever. Can't see again. Um, I guess. Oh, okay. So for whatever reason. Okay, so the control key activating or deactivating the last augment that you used only works for the stuff actually accessed through using the control key. So if I'm using the F keys, it doesn't remember the last one. Uh, a little bit unexpected. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. It's actually, <laughs> if I'm standing right here, I can't even tell if I pull the gun out or not. I can't tell if it's equipped because everything's just black. I guess I can see the reticle in, in theory, but I wouldn't have noticed that really. Um, oh, it, it's like automatic. What the heck? I just wanted to shoot once. I can't even see the, the staircase here. So I think it's like silenced, which I don't know how silent that actually is in the game. I mean, obviously I can hear it, but I don't know if other people can hear it. They seem to all go wild if you start shooting one of these big guns. Oh, come on. Stop! Wait. I have the solution to this situation. Okay. Um, oh, you have to hold it for a bit and, or the, until the scope comes out. I hope there's not like bullet travel or something. Oh, crap. No! Come on! Alright, it's really particular. Holy crap. Okay. That was hard. <laughs> oh, hello. Holy cow. Um, fumbling with the buttons. Thankfully I'm in the dark here. I can aim this like so, but this gets rid of my reticle, so in the dark I can't even like see my iron sights. That's kind of silly. Alright, all sorts of dudes. I wish I had like a a grenade or something. <laughs> oh, it's so dark. I kind of want to sh start shooting them in the head, but there's so many of them. I don't have anything to reload with. I forgot about the dumpster having that one little magazine in it. I think this guy will have a gun. Oh, here he comes again. He heard me. Only him heard me, and that's... Oh, maybe that was just his patrol path, is just to go back this way or something. Oh no, I think he's doing his... Investigating or something. Oh my gosh, I have to make really fine movements, and... Sometimes it's hard to move the mouse, just a t like a tiny amount. The uh, input lag doesn't help, I forgot about that. That's the thing that makes it hard. Oh my gosh. Okay. This thing shoots way too fast. Alright, I think these guys are coming because of my... <laughs> He's like, maybe not. Oh gosh, it's hard to aim. But yeah, if, uh, if we get some exclusive full screen... Turn off the V-Sync, that'll make this easier for sure. So I thought these guys would drop guns. There it is. Kinda hiding in here. Oh, okay, they got some buddies. <laughs> and they're coming back. Uh, let's pull this guy out. We're gonna have an, a whole arsenal for this gigantic inventory here. I cannot see. Holy crap. <laughs> So I saw the red stuff on my screen, which I'm assuming is my own blood. They they definitely shoot like instantly when they... I think when I start shooting them, they start shooting instantly. Um, so it's really weird for me to like point my gun at somebody and start shooting and then to see like my own blood flying out. 
<laughs> like without, without any kind of delay, because they seem to just kind of react to you instantaneously. It's really bizarre. But these guys should have a bunch of guns. You gotta get out of here. I want your gun, not the body. Oh, it seems like it's pretty easy to, to drop the bodies when you're trying to drag them. Alright. Just getting a bunch of guns. I think... Oh, remove magazine. That's nice. Okay, and then can I, uh... Yeah, I just want the magazine. Okay, so this Tetrising stuff. A little weird, like, it, it seems like it doesn't always line up. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it lines up quite right with the actual image. A little weird. Oh gosh, it's getting confusing. Uh, like, where is... Yeah, it's, it's not... stuff's not lining up right, and you can see, like, this thing is apparently in these three squares. It's very weird. Very weird. Um, yeah, I think I can just ditch these, which I think works like that, which is kind of nice. Uh, how do I... Wait, what's going on? That was really weird for a moment. I think I think something's gonna duplicate it or something. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. What is happening? It won't go out of my inventory. Oh my gosh. Alright, maybe I can... Uh... Alright, so we can unload so we get just the ammo. That's kind of cool. Ah. Alright, so I unloaded this one, but I didn't get the ammo from it, I don't think. These work. Alright, this is super buggy. Like, when I throw it, it goes in the ground, and then I have to, like, put it back in the inventory. <laughs> um, how do you, uh... So some, I, I thought there was some other way to do this. I can't right click on these. Um, wait, maybe if I just close the inventory. No, it's still there. What the heck? This is super weird. Alright. Um, I think there's two, two ammo in this. I also wonder about these. I guess we can unload these. Um, I don't know. Like, we have ammo and we have, like, spare magazines we can carry around. I don't know like what the difference would be in terms of gameplay. I don't know if I want to like equip one of these. If, will it, I can just hit R to reload, right? Helico clone. So now we have 99 out of 2. What? It, oh no. What's going on? Alright. She's doing something with her arms. There we go. Alright, we got some bugs. Hopefully nobody's going to start shooting at me. Can I go through here? There's glass here. I'd like to have a punch or something. Nothing in here, but I still want to punch it. What else do we do here? I guess that... I don't know where that's leading. Where is this leading? This leading to where, where I was before? It does indeed appear that way. I think I killed everyone that was wandering around here. I don't know about that spotlight. That's sketchy. Um, so this area is lit, so that kind of suggests... Usually game developers use light like this to suggest like a way forward. But I don't... This doesn't... doesn't... Oh, that is a door. Okay, I'm pressing F, it's not working. Oh! Duh. Just stand back. So that's awkward. Um, okay, so I can go in here. Can I... Oh, this is a door too. I thought this was just random glass. It didn't really read as a door to me. I guess this is where I was supposed to go after all, so... Okay!
All right, so that dude was was totally in the dark himself, so I couldn't I couldn't see him um, to uh, <laughs> to respond to him in in a reasonable way there. Um, so one thing that might be worthwhile is to kind of centralize the light meter. It's in the bottom right there. Like put it in the middle of the screen or something, or have some other visual way to represent it. Um, it's very hard to tell just by the, like looking at the level alone. Sometimes you can kind of tell, but sometimes it's just not very obvious, like if you're in the darker and you're in the light, whatever. Um, and I also don't know, like, like when do I need to be hiding and when do I not need to be. Like for instance, out here, these guys don't give a crap. They don't do anything, but like once you once you go into certain areas that are kind of invisibly defined, then suddenly like everyone in there is going to kill you if they see you. It's not really clear like where where those boundaries are, and it just kind of seems almost arbitrary. Um, so between that and the fact that like I really have to like like consciously look down in the bottom right if I want to check to see like if I'm in the shadows or whatever. Um, in the case where I just died, it was kind of like I was, I was, apparently I was out in the open. I mean, I just walked through the door that was supposedly where I was supposed to go. And then I just like suddenly got killed. Um, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't really, excuse me, trying to be stealthy, but I didn't really feel like I needed to be. It felt, felt kind of weird overall. Um, I, 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 I kind of want to try again. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it has my interest. The game has my interest enough for me to want to see what happens next, but uh, I've, I've already been playing for a long time, and considering how long it took for me to just like get equipped and, and like walk all the way there, um, I feel like this is probably a good, a good time to wrap things up. Oof, yeah, I've been playing longer than I intended. <clears throat> So this, okay, this is a way forward. Oh, this is, what the heck? This is right where I was before, wasn't it? It took me so long to get to, <laughs> I think. Um, but I don't have any guns. And, all right, we're, we're doing some weird stuff. With the culling here. Um, I don't, I don't know of any way to Disarm. Oh gosh, okay. Jeez, it's so loud it just it just jumps the hell out of you. <laughs> I don't know of any way to disarm a guard or anything like that. Or like incapacitate him without without a weapon, which would be nice to have. You know, it, it seems like pretty much every stealth game has has that kind of thing. But um maybe it's just something I don't know about. I don't I guess if you crouch that would probably let you sneak better in terms of I'm assuming he he heard me, and that's why he, he turned around and killed me super fast. But uh, yeah, so there's definitely a, a faster way to get in there, and if I had the gun that you're supposed to start out with, then maybe I could have progressed that way. But uh, considering that was like one very particular way out of like all the other all the other ways that you could choose to progress through the level, which it seems like I chose every other way before that way. Um, it seems like you can end up wasting a lot of time with this kind of level layout, so... Personally, I would make some pretty big changes to the layout for my own tastes, but uh, hopefully that's useful for you. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Obviously I could try to get further because I didn't really accomplish much of anything, but... Um, yeah, I, I definitely do like the feel of it, the very, you know, sort of grunginess and, um, I know something about this feeling of, of like these early crappy living spaces that are all crammed together. <laughs> it's just kind of cool somehow. Uh, and all these weird catwalks. It, it definitely has an aesthetic that I can get behind, but uh, hopefully the video is useful for you. Sorry I didn't get very deep into it as far as progressing, but um, let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to the next one, 
and I'll see you in the next video.